गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट एंड वेलकम इन अवर लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम प्रोसेस इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी सॉ वॉट इज द प्रोसेस इज एंड वॉट इज अ प्रोसेस लाइफ साइकल ओके इन दैट लेक्चर वी टॉक अबाउट द प्रोसेस कंट्रोल ब्लॉक इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल वॉट इज द प्रोसेस कंट्रोल ब्लॉक and how that block is maintained by the operating system okay process control block is the block which can uh, track the information of the uh, states of the processes it contain the information associated with each processes okay what are actually the uh, data structure that data structure can hold the terms like uh, cpu registers as well as the memory management information related to the uh, processes then accounting information of the process accounting information like uh, which time that process is created what is the total execution time required for that process what is user id of that process etc etc okay then next is input output state input output status uh, such as Uh, which resource is required for which process in which time that resource allocated to the process which input driver or output driver or uh, other driver necessary to execute uh, or to provide such resources to the um, in that particular process that record can be maintained by the process control block as well as scheduling data means which type of scheduling technique prefer by that operating system for the execution of Uh, our job as well as um, which priorities are used to enter the process from one state to the other state can be maintained by the process control block then uh, the next is process state that is the most important factor of process control block that process control block can maintain all the record of the process states when the process is in which state can be maintained by the process control block means if your process is in a new state then process control block can uh, show the user id pointer process status user id means the process id okay uh, pointer of that particular process uh, pro state process state name okay and when the process is in a running state at that time uh, your process control block can contain process id which is already available in a cpu as well as the pointer of that particular process then uh, counter of that particular process and all the remaining information like uh, uh, which registers required for storage of that uh, process then uh, what is actually the memory limit for that particular process which an input output devices acquire by the process such type of informations are enter into the process control block it means in a new state all these informations are blank at that time when process is in a running state that process have its uh, more informable information of that particular process and for every state that information is recorded into the process control block this is actually the job of process control block for that purpose a stack is a data structure used by the operating system for to maintain that uh, process control block it is a dynamic uh, process happen in a process control block is it this is all about the process control block now in a next topic we will see what is actually the process scheduling is and what are the process scheduling uh, techniques available for the operating system and how operating system uh, acquire or how operating system can work on that particular scheduling techniques okay till then keep watching and good bye